You know when you're done. I love. This is giving me fireworks. Okay, some challenges along the way, but you have endured it. There's a lot of people here who's watching about are we going to make it happen? Or are we going to reconcile or not? And some are already have accepted that it's fine. It's best that we're not together. Okay, uh, cool. let's see what you guys have for me. Welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day for your career, finances, and your relationship. Yes. So let's see what's going on with you guys. I teach people how to manifest using different kinds of techniques, gemstones, you know, those things. Today I'll teach you on what are the two crystals that everyone should have that they carry with them every day. In a little bit. You're in the judgment mode. You're serious. You know what is not going to work anymore. Because this is like hearing, you know, from your guides and your, you know, your angels here that we can't keep doing this, you know? Like something's gotta give, something's gonna change. Scorpio card, excuse me. This is now stepping into your, not higher self, but your truest of, like you're, you're just being real. No disillusion, this is how I see my life and this is where it's supposed to. Are you with me or not with me? Because that's a judgment. There's nothing that is taboo for you to discuss. You lay it out like, okay, I make mistakes, you make mistakes. This is me. If you tell me you're, I'm toxic, this is also me. You understand me? The good, the bad, the ugly. You're, you're doing the laundry here. You know, it's like you're showing the field. It's like, okay, call me out, whatever. But I'm coming in clean. Can you come clean? Mr. Clean Business. <laughs> Because you want a new beginning. So you're sending yourself off here with a star card for 2024 in a wonderful energy, Aqua. You're doing the work, realizing value, realizing your dreams, how to manifest. The star card is a proof here that everything can come your way that is good if you align yourself, which is a judgment. Star card. Wish fulfillment, divine timing. Saturn, of course, is in your first house, which teach you a lot, a lot of discipline. Now, here's the thing. You have a death card. There's a two of wands. In this situation right now, your person ended the relationship. That's a death. They're waiting for you to either text them or call them. Let me get an oracle. So the two of wands here shows being patient. It could be a long distance relationship. So the two of you are actually, okay, you have a blessed card. Love, this is blessed. Your wish is going to be fulfilled. Ah, loyal heart? Sap. What are you doing? You're making me confused, Sal. A oh, page of ones here. You're going to get a message from your person. So both of you are just waiting to communicate, like, who's going to give in. Okay. So someone is about to bend the rules. Okay, it's fine. I'll forgive you. It's okay. You know, that's, that's what you guys are waiting. You have a loyal heart here and a blessed. So... I feel like you're a blessing to them, and I'm going to do it only on your side. I'm not sure if they're a blessing to you because I feel like you deserve that message that you are loyal, you're a blessing, you know that you're a good person, okay? Argue with me, whoever hates the uh, aqua. You know, it's their reading, so I give them the stage, okay? <laughs> so if you're just a cross-watcher and you want to butcher the aqua, I'm sorry, I'm choosing their side. Page of Wands over here with a full card. Your person does not want to take responsibility. So you claim here with the full card, oh, within them out, you know, it's like, I'll find someone, okay, okay, sorry about that, I'll find someone who, okay, with the fool over here and the page of wands, I'll find someone who will be with me. Taking a leap of faith, you know, some people are scared to be single, right? Some people are scared to be not with anyone, you know, like they're scared to be alone. Ooh, you not. You embrace it. Ten of swords, right? How do you do embrace it? How do you? Well, I don't know. <laughs> you embrace it. That's not embracing, Sal. Okay. You're embracing it. Ten of swords right here. If it's over, it's over, Sal. But tell me that I can rise up to this and I can make it better. You can make it better. Star card. Okay, because it's the horizon there. So in Tarot there, you can see prominent colors, the blue sky, the yellow sky. Of course, this is the, the black sky over here. The horizon is there, the yellow one that symbolizes the beginning. Ten of Swords, of course, backstabbing. 
And you have endured with a strength card over here. So you're trying to manage actually, you're trying to survive strength with the Ten of Swords, the betrayal from your person. There's two crystals that everyone should have, citrine and obsidian. I'm telling you, I have manifested money, business, the house, the car, and of course, the relationship. So if you're stuck and you don't know what's going to happen in you 2024, turn it around today, get your citrine and obsidian. I would recommend ordering before 2024. Our website is eatreadlove.me. The big betrayal. Strength with the Ten of Swords. That's what you're trying to survive over here. So there is something toxic with your person. Ooh, they hot though. <laughs> they good and bad. <laughs> you know, if you're trying to remove this, I'll teach me. <laughs> your Eternity Red Thread Bracelet right here is free. This is free, guys. It's handmade, real gold. If you get any of our stack, I mean, this stack, this is the only stack that I made right now. It's the Black Obsidian Citrine. Remove negativity, attract prosperity. Always wear it or carry it with you at least. So... Um, this is 50% off. We ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. And of course, this is free shipping in the US. I'll tag in a corner. Now, um, if you're trying to remove this um, energy right now with the Ten of Swords, the way that the obsidian works, it's cut, it cuts off the cord. It's a little painful when you do it. It might, you may feel like, oh my God, you know, heaviness. But that's why I, I bring in with a citrine to attract this prosperity because there's a lot of things that can come to your way. However, your person is a hindrance to your growth. Your person, King of Wands, Knight of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. I'm seeing them as someone who, if they can get away with murder, they will. Little white lie, a mission is betrayal, of course. But you have a King of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the King of Cups. I'm seeing right now, here, okay, your person tries to deny how much they felt so good with you, not the other kind of good, meaning like security-wise with the Queen of Pentacles, but I'm pretty sure that was good sell, right? <laughs> From them, you are divine. <laughs> okay. Like you are the most attractive person. Okay, So you good. Now you got tired because you have a Four of Cups here with a Six of because there was no direction in the relationship and you're the one who's always paddling, you know? And, you know, I have to go this on your side here for the aqua, especially majority of the viewers here are women. You got tired of being the man because you're the women. Mm. Hmm, this is interesting. You got a sun card. It is your soulmate, you know. It is the work. It's in the works. I see the ten of swords. You see, you see through the lies and everything. I'm just not sure if, if you're somewhat related to the Capricorn, if you're going to communicate to them about like, okay, how about we give this another try? Uh, why are you doing this aqua? After I build it up, then in Excel, you know, I mean, there's something good also in it. So you may be one of those people who look at the good, of course, it is very nice. You know, if the good outweighs the bad, then, you know, you continue. So the sun is here. This is rebirth and renewal. This is healing the situation. So you, you're probably on this side. Well, I'm on the side of doing your reading every day. So <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Today's the last day, guys, to get your um, bracelets for the holidays. Of course, eatreadlove.me. I'll tag everything down there.